Hey, thanks for checking out my video. This is going to be a chest crafting guide. I'm going to do a full breakdown of the crafting process that I do. Uh, I'm going to highly emphasize some details that new players might not know. But if you are a very experienced crafter, you're probably going to know everything in this video already. Uh, but thanks for watching anyway. I don't want this to be a really long video, so I'm going to try to go through the steps quick. So uh, let's go. This is our goal here. This is what we're going for. We want suppression, resist, and chaos resist for our suffixes and then we want 2.5k evasion uh, prefixes uh, and then ideally an open prefix so that we can craft on uh, fizz taken as fire and lightning uh, so we want increased evasion and flat evasion prefixes and then an empty prefix open prefix this is a low or medium budget craft uh, it's not going to cost any divines uh, and ideally we're going to spend under three divines like worth of currency uh, total not including linking uh, so here's the steps. First, we're going to find a base. Then we're going to spam for our suffixes. Then we're going to craft our prefixes, finish off a craft, finish the implicits, and then finalize the, the links and colors. Uh, so step one, find a base. Do we want to use Assassin's Garb or Zodiac Leather? Uh, do you want a fracture, a six link, base percentile? I'm going to cover all this stuff. Uh, in a perfect world, your absolute best base is going to be 86 item level, 30 quality, 95 percent plus base percentile with fractured chaos resist or suppression uh, the more you spend the more of these things you can get uh, but we're going to keep this sort of budget so uh, let's go through it to find out what base you want to start with on any craft not just a chess craft you generally want to come to poedb click on items uh, click on whatever item you're going to craft in this case body armor and then initially it's going to pull up uniques you need to click on this tab right here to go to the regular items and then this is a list of evasion chests. You scroll down to the evasion body armors and you'll see the highest tier one is Assassin's Garb. Uh, but it, Zodiac Leather actually has more evasion, uh, but it doesn't have the movement speed implicit, but we don't care about that. So Zodiac Leather is what we're going to go with. So to find a base, you also need to consider base percentile. Every piece of armor has a base percentile, which is a range of rolls that the evasion or armor or energy shield can roll between 0 and 100%. Uh, so in Zodiac Leather, 100% base would be perfect with 982 evasion. If it was a 0% base, it would be 854. So it's a pretty significant difference uh, between base percentile. So we want the higher the better. Um, this number can be re-rolled with a Sacred Orb, if you've ever seen one. Uh, they're extremely rare, uh, but all they do is re-roll this, this value range. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to start with a high one to begin with. Item level is also very important. So to figure out what item level you need, come back to PUEDB, go to modifiers, and then body armors, dexterity. And we're not going to be using any conqueror influence, no crusader, redeemer, nothing like that. So we just need to look at the normal modifiers, none of the influence modifiers, because we're going to use eater and exarch influence. And so you look at the item level you need for the mods that we want. Flat evasion is only 77 for tier one. Increased evasion is 86 for tier 1, 84 for tier 2. And then the suffixes, tier 1 suppression is 86, and everything else is lower uh, down to 84 for chaos resist, or regular resist, I mean. So 86 is best, and then 84 is second best. Um, so yeah, 84 to 85 is acceptable, but 86 would be best. All right, do we want a 6 link to start with or not? I don't think so, because starting with a six link severely limits what kind of fractures and base percentiles and higher item levels that you can find. So it's going to be very much more expensive to start with a six link. Uh, plus, it's going to make us have to spend divines up front, which we don't want because we're trying to keep the cost of this as low as possible. You can use your own fusings to link your chest later on uh, if you have them. Buying our base should be cheap. Probably 30C or less is what we want to spend on the base. Uh, you can convert your jeweler's orbs into fusings if you didn't know that at the vendor, four to one. Uh, you can chest, you can use the crafting bench to fuse for 1,500 fusings, uh, or if you want to gamble and just spam click your fusings, you might get lucky and do it in much less than that. Uh, if you don't have any fusings, uh, you could save money on a six-link base, uh, but it's pretty unlikely. Uh, but we can link the we can link the item later after we're done crafting. So, what fracture do we want? It's best to start with a fractured mod uh, because it takes away one mod that you have to hit when you craft so every mod that we want has a thousand weighting 
if you look here, these are the weightings of the different mods that we want, except for Chaos Resist, which is a 250 weighting. So it's hardest to hit Chaos Resist. Uh, so what we're going to do is craft with Chaos Resist Essences, which is Essence of Envy. And now Spell Suppression is the other mod that's hard to get because it has fewer tiers to it and it has no tags whatsoever. So you can't target craft it in any way. Uh, so you can start with a Spell Suppress Fracture and then you use Envy Essences and you will guaranteed have those two mods on your item. Uh, so assess your Spell Suppression uh, before you start to see what how much you need. Uh, if you need 10, it's going to be cheaper, but if you need like 20 from your chest, then it's going to be much more expensive to get a 20 fracture, which is a tier 1 uh, spell suppression. So like on my character, if I take off my chest, uh, I have 77 plus the 15% mastery is uh, 92. So I only need 8% suppression from my chest. Okay, so figure out how much you need and uh, start from there. Okay. So... And a note there, overcompensating your mods is very important because it would enable your build to be flexible when you're upgrading other pieces. So don't don't pigeonhole yourself by getting exactly how much you need because then when you upgrade your next piece, uh, it's going to create restrictions for you. So the higher tier you can get, the better. Uh, so this is what we're going to buy. We're going to buy Zodiac Leather, 80 plus percent base percentile, 84 item level or above, 86 if possible, with a spell suppression fracture of whatever tier that you need. Uh, okay, so let's do that. Let's look on the trade site. Okay, type in Zodiac Leather, base percentile, uh, and then item level. I'll show you. I'm going to show you 86 item levels here with a spell suppress fracture. I'm just going to put in 14, and we'll see what's here. You see, these are very, very expensive. Okay, at 86 item level. Okay, so that's that's out of our budget. So if we bump this down to 84 item level, you'll see a big difference here. Now there's 93 results, and we're talking 5C. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. So now the other thing we want to look at is base percentile. So like this one's only 6%, right? So this is bad because it's got very low evasion. So we want like 80 plus ideally. So we're going to put 80 here and see what happens. Uh, 5C, 5C, 20C, 17, 17, 14, 90, 97. Uh, okay, I think this, uh, this these prices are getting high. So we're going to go for this one right here, 17%. This one's good. Uh, 91%. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, I have D&D &D on. That's why I can't buy it. <laughs> okay, so let's try to buy this one and see if this guy will uh, Just need a moment will trade. To catch my and look at that. 20C. Perfect. So this is 17% suppression, which is t uh, tier 2. It's item level uh, 85, which is perfect, and 91% base percentile. Uh, and there we go. Perfect. We're ready to start. So if you look at the evasion here, it says 970 out of 982. That's an, that's pretty close to 90, 91% uh, base percentile. So this is perfect. All right, so we got our base, and it costs 20C. Okay, so now we're going to consider quality before we begin. Eventually, you're going to want 30% quality, ideally. Uh, it's not strictly required, uh, but if you want that, you need to start with perfect fossils before you start the craft, which would be right now. Or you can add quality with Hillock in Fortification later. If you do a safe house, you'll get 28. Or if you run Katarina with him rank 3, you'll get 30. Uh, but you can do that later. Perfect Fossils cost 5C a pop. Uh, it might take you 5 attempts. It might take you 15 attempts. So that's uh, a little bit of a gamble there. Uh, and then if you want to do Hillock, a good way is to use TFT for that. So join the, for the Forbidden Trove Discord. And then just type in Hillock in the search. And you'll see people selling their Hillock armor. Uh, safe houses and stuff and that can cost anywhere from like 70c to 150c depending on the time of day uh, so those are your options for quality i don't have any perfect fossils so i'm not going to uh i'm not going to do that i'm just going to add the quality later uh with hillock all right so step one we're going to use envy essences uh so we can guarantee our chaos resist uh, we already have suppression fractured okay and essences are typically close to tier one rolls if you use deafening and then the lower essence you go, it's going to get worse. So uh, Envy is 26 to 30 for Shrieking, and Deafening is 31 to 35. Uh, and Tier 1 Resist is 30, also 31 to 35. So Deafening is the same thing as hitting Tier 1 Chaos Resist. Uh, and then the other essences are uh, cheaper if you don't buy this Fracture. 
Uh, like if you bought a Chaos Resist Fracture, for example, you could use Wrath, Hatred, or Anger Essences until you hit Suppression. Uh, that'd be a good way to craft two. All right, so let's get started with our rolling here. This is what we're looking for on our suffixes. We want a like 35 plus Elemental Resist. And we're going to have the Chaos Resist guaranteed. And once we hit the Elemental Resist, uh, we have some options. So let's try and hit that and see what happens here. So I'm going to use uh, just Shrieking because that's, that's uh, all I care about. So we make this rare. And then Shrieking is uh, 20, 26 to 30 Chaos Resist. So we're going to spam this until we hit 35% plus uh, Ellie Resist, like right there. Okay, so now we have... That took how many essences? Three? So now we have... Our suffixes are basically done because I'm happy with that resist here. Um, now we're going to start with prefixes. And unfortunately, we got bad life. So what you're going to do from here is add influence to your item. Because we want to manipulate our prefixes, you need to make sure your item is Searing Exarch dominant. Okay. And what that means is it has a higher tier of the Searing Exarch embers than it does of the Ickers. So all you need to do is use a greater ember and a lesser ichor uh, on your item, and that will meet that requirement. So just slam slam uh, one of these on, and then one of these on. And then now you see the Searing Exarch is the greater tier, and the Eater is lesser tier. So now we can manipulate our prefixes. So from here, I don't have any of the tier, any mods that I want. So I need to remove that life, and then also add uh, the evasion tiers that I want. So my options here are to just Exalt Slam, uh, or I can use uh, Eldritch Chaos to reroll all the prefixes. Uh, but th this is going to get expensive because this is 15C a pop. Okay, this is where the bulk of the cost of this craft is going to come from from finishing off these prefixes. Uh, but, but because this is expensive, another option is to just keep using essences and hope that you can get uh, one good prefix to start with before you start using the Eldritch Currencies. So that's what I'm going to do, actually, because Essences are cheap and I have a lot of them. So I'm going to keep trying here. I'm going to look for a um, a high resist with, like, one good prefix. Okay, so here's one with 84 life. Now, if I was looking for life, I would be happy with this, uh, probably, and I would... Um, Exalt Slam. And so before I Exalt Slammed, I would block something on the crafting bench, and then I would just Exalt Slam and hope that I hit uh, Evasion. But I don't want life on this chest, so I'm going to uh, continue. Okay, here we go. This is this is looking nice here. So now I have a, the resist I want, and I have a nice Evasion prefix, which is going to be good enough for me. So now all I need to do is block something before I Exalt Slam, okay? And uh, if you look at, um, you can look at PWDB to see the modifier uh, weightings to see what you should block. Uh, but basically, I don't want life, and life has a ton of weightings, so I'm just going to block life, okay? And so now I'm going to Exalt Slam and see if I can hit uh, flat evasion, which is what I'm looking for. So let's do that. Uh, we got a super, super low tier, which is unfortunate. Okay, so now what we're going to do is remove this craft uh, and then annul. So I'm going to remove this life craft. And now I have to do an Eldritch Annul. So when I Eldritch Annul, uh, it's going to remove either the one of the, either one of the evasions. And we're looking to remove the flat evasion. So if we get lucky. And this is only going to remove a prefix, by the way. It's not going to remove a, a suffix. The suffixes are fine. So here we go. All right, we got unlucky, so now we have to start over with essences again because we removed the high evasion roll. So back to essences. Okay, this is interesting here. So this is close to good enough resistance and a high evasion uh, flat roll here. So I'm going to do the same thing with this and see if I can uh, hit a nice percent evasion roll on this one. So now we're going to exalt here. And uh, see what we get. Uh, what do we get? We got hybrid stun block, so that's bad. So now we're going to do the same thing we did before. Uh, remove the craft. Remove craft. And now we're going to annul again and hope that we can annul the hybrid, which we did. And so now we can do the same thing again. Uh, we can block life again. And then slam again. And hope we get percent evasion high tier. Uh, we got 46% which is not good enough. 
Uh, so now we're going to, we could annul again and try to try and hit it again. But what I'm actually just going to do is um, start over with essences again, because I'm not really happy with this resist here. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, we're going to just go back to this. All right, this is kind of bad. Uh, it's P1 resist, but the evasion tier is a little bit low. Uh, it might end up working out, but probably not. So we're going to keep going. Uh, no, 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 uh, no. Good resist, but terrible prefixes. Uh, okay, so here's another example of where you might be happy with life. Like if you're okay with life, you could just um, go from here, but I don't want life. That's bad. Uh, bad. Bad. Uh, oh, this is unfortunate. Bad life again. Uh, eh. This one might be worth slamming, so we're, we'll slam Just this one. Uh, we've got a decent resist, decent, uh, decent evasion percent. So we'll slam this. See what we get. Uh, we got tier six, so that's bad. So now here's an example of another thing you can do. I have three prefixes here. Uh, so what you can do is use chaos orbs also, eldritch chaos orbs. Now this is going to just reroll all the prefixes entirely. Uh, we'll do that and see what happens. Usually you only get one like that, which is just ridiculous. Uh, so back to essences we go. Uh, resist. Okay, this one has tier two with a nice high roll, but the rest is bad. 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 Uh, bad. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get lucky on my essence spam to hit a prefix uh, because I think it's easier this way uh, because essences are cheap. You could just get your suffixes done and then spend a ton of money using just these to finish your prefixes. Uh, what's this? Tier 3 with hybrid? Uh, no. Uh, but essences are... Uh, Okay, look at this. So now here we have tier one resist with uh, high percent evasion. So now we can slam this again for sure. And so now if we slam percent evasion here, or flat evasion, I mean, then uh, we'll basically be done. So let's see if we can get lucky. Oh boy. Okay, we're done, boys. We did it. So we got flat evasion tier one high roll with a high high enough percent uh, evasion. And look at that. We got 2,700. This was zero quality, by the way. I didn't even add quality to this. So when we add quality, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. That's going to be over 3,000 evasion once I uh, get it up to, in higher quality. And so now we have our suffixes, uh, we have our prefixes, and then we're going to uh, move on. So that's beautiful. Uh, so we hit our two evasion prefixes, and you are done. Congratulations. And now we're going to craft this on as our prefix. Okay, so this is a Gravisius uh, unveiled craft. Uh, if you don't have this, you can either get someone to craft it for you, or you can just buy Gravisius veiled chests, which I'll show you here. You can just go to the trade site, type in Gravisius veiled, and then body armor. And then uh, these are usually about 10C or so. Yeah, 10C. You can just buy a couple of these and unveil the mod yourself, and then you'll have it on your on your crafting bench so now we're going to craft this until we get six and six five and six five and six six and six there we go uh and there you go we are done look at that that is a thing of beauty so our our explicits are done okay that and how much did that cost you guys saw how much i spent on this i spent about uh what 40 essences or so which is about uh these are these are two c a pop or so so that's 80 c and i bought the base for 20 c uh, so that's 100 c and then i used like uh what four or five or six of these so that's another about 75 c so we're talking less than 200 c here i spent on this okay uh and so now this is done uh now we're going to do our implicits so now we can just add fortify and attack crit uh with these and then our implicits will be done so hopefully i can get lucky here and hit those so we're going to use these and look for fortify. And I don't have that many, so hopefully I can hit it. 
Oh, I just rolled over it. Oh, that's unfortunate. I wasn't. I was clicking too fast. Uh, block. I'm actually going to read them this time. Uh, almost out. Come on, please. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, I ran out. But I'll get more of those and put that on later. And now I'm going to look for uh, attack crit. Uh, for the Exarch one. And there it is, man, that one was lucky. Okay, so now I'll go back and I will add the uh, Fortify, and then uh, this chest will be completely done. Uh, so once you hit your Implicits, now you just need to finish up your quality, your links, uh, your sockets. Uh, and so here's an example of what quality, the difference in quality can be here. Uh, and with 20, this chest, this other chest that I have was 2561, 28 is 2655, and 30, 2679. So the more, the higher the evasion you have, the dip, bigger this difference is going to be. Uh, so you can see this is going to be probably about 150 uh, or so difference uh, for this one. Uh, so if you're an SSF and you're gonna, you're probably not gonna have a good fracture like this. Uh, so you're gonna have to probably forego like one mod. Uh, so going for a five mod item. Uh, you can probably end up with something pretty close to what I just did if you have the currency to do it. Uh, but then if you don't have any MD essences, you can just use Wrath, Hatred, Anger, which are the resist ones, or Doubt, which is the evasion ones, or Greed for life if you need life. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's the, that's the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you learned something from this, uh, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. If you have questions, uh, give me a comment. Uh, and there's the final product one more time here. This is really nice. High suppression. Almost 3,000 evasion, uh, fizz taken as craft with T1 resist and a nice uh, solid chaos resist roll. So this is a fantastic chest, and you just watched me craft it for about 200 chaos or so. Uh, now when I link it, it's going to cost, you know, uh, fusings are like uh, 600, 550 per divine. So it's probably going to cost about two or two divines or so to six link this, maybe three divines. Uh, but still, that is totally worth it. This is a fantastic chest, and uh, there you go. That's how you do it. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you next time.